I am so mad. Would you be mad if you were me? I'm still mad. Yes. And this absolutely. happened last night. I would, but I also wouldn't have done what you did. What did I do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I, all right. You know what? It all started with, where is it? It started with that right there. That's a happy birthday bag, all right? It is not her birthday. Her birthday's next month, and I already gave her her birthday gift. It's a trip to Jamaica, uh -huh. okay? This was supposed to be a Valentine's Day bag. This, I blame my mom for, <laughs> okay? I, she had one job, get a Valentine's Day bag. The rest of everything that happened, which I gotta break down to you guys, is 100% my fault. And let me make a disclaimer, do not laugh at me. I just came back from the gym, that's why my hat looks like this, all right? I don't have to explain myself to you, I don't know why I am. <laughs> so, you wanna explain what happened, or I gotta say it? You can explain. Okay, so hold on, let me get comfortable. So as you guys see, this is a happy birthday bag. It says hip hip hooray, I think the other side says happy birthday, you know, all that good stuff. These are Janice's gifts, okay? So long story short, my mom messed up, she got the happy birthday bags. That's where this whole mess started last night. Then, so how did you find out that it was from Amazon, your gifts? You told me. Oh, that's right, I slipped up and I said it. I was like, oh, uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, your gifts have to go in bags because the boxes say what they are, which they, they say right here what they are. And I was like, damn, I just said that they're from Amazon. And then yeah. you were like, oh, that's why I was signed out of Amazon. And I was like, yup. No, actually what had happened was he was like, yeah, that's why I signed you out of Amazon. And I was like, oh, I'm not signed out of Amazon though. I'm still on Amazon. Yeah, I slipped up. Then he goes, no, you're not. Let me see. Guys, <laughs> this is where everything went downhill right there. She said, no, no, what you said? I said, yeah, I am. I'm you're still logged in. And you're like, no, you're not. And you were yeah. like, let me see. And I was like, okay. And I went on Amazon. I said, see, look. But and the thing then is, this is where, this is what got me mad. She opened the Amazon app. You know, when you open the Amazon app or any app, it takes you to the home screen of whatever it is, right? It took her right to the recent orders as soon as she opened it. She didn't have the app open before. She opened the app for the first time and it took her to the recent orders and she saw her gifts that I ordered. Yeah. I was like, I was in shock. I think my jaw dropped and everything. I was like, you saw the gifts. Yep. And then she was like, I didn't mean to. I was like. I don't like spoiling surprises. Isaiah does. Yes, Isaiah I Isaiah likes finding out his surprises before it actually happens. I was so mad, I'm bro. Not. I was so mad. So I was like, well, she only saw one of the gifts, but she saw the most important one. So I was like, you might as well, I might as well tell you the other gift because you already know the most important one. The other one goes with the most important one. So I showed her what the gifts are, so she already found out last night. So this is why Valentine's Day is ruined. It's not ruined. I'm blaming my mom. I'm blaming my mom. This You're all started with this started with the damn hip hip hooray bag. This is where it all started. She literally started laughing because she got the wrong bag. It was just everything escalated so quick. Guys, the whole bag situation and then her finding out the gifts all happened within like, I kid you not, less than 60 seconds. Yes. And it, it was, was the worst 60 fast. seconds of my life. <laughs> I was so upset. But since I, I might as well just give it to you now, I mean, you already know what it is. So, I mean, here's here's one. Thank you. And then here's the other gift. I had to open it so you guys don't see the address and stalk us and whatnot. <laughs> but here's your gifts, babe. Um, I had like a whole little like kind of speech and all that. So when you opened it, but since you already know what it is, basically, I just want to say that I believe in you more than you believe in yourself sometimes. And I find that crazy. And I think that you should never give up on your dreams. And if this is your dreams, I want to be a part of it and I want to make sure that you take, you know, full throttle on it. Okay. <laughs> I just want to full make throttle sure. using car yeah, references. Yeah, you know I'm a car guy. So <laughs> this is, you know, guys, I like to get gifts. Well, both of us like to get gifts that, you know, touch the heart. And yesterday when she found out and I actually gave her the gifts, she actually broke down and cried. I did. So I wish I would have got that on camera, but you know, everything just happened so quickly. I didn't have time for all that. So do you want me to show them what I got? Yeah, yeah. I mean, open it up. Okay, so a lot of you guys ask me, am I making music? A lot, a lot, okay? And I get this question every single day. And truth be told, I didn't have anything to really make music and I don't trust other people to do music for me. So I've had this in my cart on uh, Amazon for how long? It's been maybe close to two years. Yeah. You've had this in your Amazon cart and I was wondering what I can get you for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, you know what? She's been saying she wants to like start her music and she's tired of waiting. And then the other day you actually said you wanted to quit your music or I not did. even begin. And I was like, nah, you're crazy, man. I was like, you got the talent, you got the potential. I did. We're gonna I make was that like, happen. I was kind of getting ready to give up because I feel like I've been wanting to pursue music since I was a kid. We don't do that. And I was just like, you know what? Like, even if you're talented, it doesn't mean you're gonna make it in the industry. So I kind of was just like, might as well just quit and focus on something else. But at the, at the end of the day, you just gotta do what you love. And if this is what you love, just do it. And whatever happens afterwards, just let it happen. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to just guys, go I, for it. <laughs> I wish I could have got on camera. She really started crying and everything. And you guys know how much I love when she cries tears of joy. <laughs> like, that's the only time you're gonna hear me say oh. I'm happy about her crying. <laughs> it's falling apart. All right, just close it, just close it up, put it back. We don't need the day getting ruined anymore. <laughs> And then you want to go ahead and or tell them what the other thing is? The I, other thing is a, a stand for the microphone. So yeah, guys, it's this like microphone stand right there. So, you know, it's like insulated or whatever. It's basically a little booth, I guess. But yeah, that just goes with the mic. She saw the mic first. I was like, I might as well tell you what that is because you already know what this is. I was begging him not to tell me what the rest is, but he's like, it goes together. Yeah. It's no point. It you goes already together. That's the big thing right there. You already found out. So I was like, man, it's, it's over. That's it. It's over. Well, I really, really appreciate this gift and I, I'm in shock. I'm nervous to like start music. I don't know. I just like, I don't know. I'm it's ready. I'm crazy. ready for you. Babe. I'm ready for you. We're going to get this started. And like I said, I wanted to get a gift that would touch the heart. And I think last night when you cried, it touched the heart. So I was like, mission accomplished. We also have a dinner, not a dinner, a lunch reservation, which is why you're already, I told her last night as well, to one of her restaurants that she's been wanting to go to for a yes. while, but we haven't gone because it's so hard to get a reservation. But I was able to get a reservation for lunch, so we have to be there in about an hour and a half, so I gotta go get ready. Yes, go get ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Your boy's ready, yo. I'm done. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to eat some good food. Are you ready to eat some good food? I'm ready to eat some good food. You're looking real scrumptious. I'm gonna eat you up for so dessert are you later. Look at you. Nah, wow. give me give me the camera. I gotta show you. Give oh, me the camera. I gotta show I'm, you. I'm wearing my coat already. I'm just wearing... It don't matter, girl. You look oof, like at the knee high boots. Woo. Yes, I'm just wearing some basic black attire. That's yeah, but all. You pull it off real good, baby. Thank mm. you. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> all right, time to go eat some good food. Let's do it. So we made it to the restaurant. Did you tell them what it's called? Houston. I didn't. I don't know if I did. Houston's. It's We're called Houston's. Houston. So. so go ahead. Say what you want. No, that's all I was saying. Like we just got here. No, and I, I meant, super I excited to eat. I meant food. -wise. Oh, okay. Um, I might get steak, but I don't really know what their menu is like because online they don't have their menu. So I don't really know what to get. All I know is they have spinach and artichoke dip. How long have you been wanting to come here? Years. It's, years? Like I yeah. I thought it's been months. I didn't know it was years. No, because remember your mom told us about Houston's like two years ago. Yeah, but you just wanted to come here for like the spinach and artichoke dip. And then one of my friends recently went. So then you were like, you know what? We got to go to Houston's. And you kept talking about it, talking about it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to surprise her. I'm going to get a reservation in Houston's. So here we are. Yeah, I'm Houston's. so excited. I really want to go all out and eat. But like, I don't want to cheat on my diet. So your like, it is Valentine's <laughs> Day. I did not go through all this effort and my gifts to be exposed early for you to remain on your diet. <laughs> you are going to eat and you're going to eat good. Okay. All right, we're going to enjoy this meal. And yeah, we'll see you guys inside. If my trainer is <laughs> watching this, I'm so sorry. I love you. Shh. Alright Infinite Fam, so we just got out of Houston's. What is your opinion on it, honestly? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. Same, honestly. I'm only gonna say a 9 out of 10 because I feel like they didn't have enough steak options. Right, agreed. But besides that, their food was great, the dessert was great, the appetizers was great, drinks was great. No, I'm not drinking and driving. I'm talking about like the Sprite it was crisp, all right? I had water. <laughs> yeah, so overall, it's a really, really good restaurant. Houston's and Hackensack. How would you rate it? I rated it a nine as well. And it was the same reason. I could have sworn that it was a steakhouse. Like I was going under the assumption that it was a steakhouse. That's what I thought it was. I got there and, and there was only like one steak option. And I'm one of those people that have to have it medium well or well done. And they didn't offer that. So I was like, Ugh. No, they said they'll try to cook it, but they won't guarantee it. Right. So it's like, you know, 
just so you know. Kind it of was thing. a little uh, scary, and honestly, I was not ready to be nauseous today. So I was just like, all right, let's just go with the chicken. <laughs> so overall, you enjoyed yourself? I did. I, I had a really good time. That sounds so That sounds so I love you. you Thank you. Mm. You're welcome. So now what are we, what are we going to do? I'm going to go home and pass out. That's what I'm going to do. All right, sounds good. So we'll see you guys when we get home. Finally made it back home. <laughs> A uh, decent amount of traffic on the way back wasn't that crazy. I expected worse, but I am ready to like just go to sleep. I know. I just want to like, change. We overindulged for sure. Yes, we ate a lot of dessert. We ate a lot of what I eat again? A uh, cheeseburger like the size of my head. Yeah, seriously, it was <sighs> huge. I had a big half rotisserie chicken. It was it was crazy. <laughs> No, imagine I fall asleep on camera. <laughs> <It's> like, um... <laughs> no. So that is it for today's vlog, guys. It was a pretty simple Valentine's Day. We don't like to go all out with stuff like this. We just like to do that's like, do stuff that's like meaningful and stuff that like touches the heart. And I'm still upset that my gift got exposed last night. I'm not over that. Honestly, everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reason was. No, there's was, no reason for that. But there's no reason for that, and I blame my mom 100. Even though don't blame her because you were the was, one who yeah, told me. It was my fault, but I'm blaming her. I gotta blame someone. So yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. It is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to James Jackson. Shout out to you for all the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post. A new video and with all that being said we'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> <laughs>